Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is another beautiful day here in Northern Michigan. Uh, the governor finally lifted our mask mandate and so we went to a wedding reception last night, a good friend of mine, and uh, it seemed nice not to have that mask on. Back to freedom time. So what I, what I wanted to share with everybody today is uh, I got kind of excited Wednesday, this is uh, Sunday, I got excited uh, Sunday, uh, and the reason being, got a letter in the mail. And some people get letters in the mail, and it's a bill or something like that, and they don't get excited. Well, I, I didn't know what this was at first, uh, but then after I opened it up, it's from the Montana Fish and Game, and it's a elk tag. I freaking drew an elk tag. You know how many years I've been wanting to go elk hunting? Uh, a lot of years a lot of years and so a dream come true the bucket list I tell you what I am pumped and uh, we're gonna do that in November and uh, the other thing I want to do is before I get going is uh, Forlo for the love of hunting uh, they are out of Whitefish Montana watch some of my videos and what I do is uh, I went into their store, everything is made in the United States by American people, 100% in the United States. So I'll leave a link uh, below about Forlow. Go click on it, go check them out. And uh, if you need some hunting gear, camping uh, clothing, I should say, uh, any type of clothing, they got it. But anyway, uh, got my out tag, I'm pumped. And the other thing is, is, is uh, I got a good buddy, and I told him I was looking for a 10 millimeter. And the reason being is they got uh, out in Montana compared to Michigan. Uh, here in Michigan, we hunt stuff. Out in Montana, things hunt you. Yeah, uh, grizzly bear, uh, mountain lion and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have my rifle, but uh, it was told to me I, I need to have a, a pistol. And so we was at Murdoch's out in Columbia Falls and right there in Montana, and I asked the guys behind the counter, should I, I've heard about these 10 millimeters. Uh, stepson picked one up and I said, well, you know, should I get a 10 millimeter, a 357, a 44, what should I get? And they said, uh, get the 10 millimeter. So good friend of mine, Mike, uh, he told me, he called me today and said, hey, well, he didn't call me. He sent me a text and showed me a picture of a 10 millimeter for five or $599 down in you see that i'm gonna leave a description below uh for this this guy this is frank's sporting goods in morley uh michigan and uh i ran down there me and brenda hopped in the car and ran down there and and we picked up this bad boy today and uh let's make sure it's it's uh not loaded everything is uh clear it hasn't had any bullets in it yet I went down there and picked it up. They did a background check and passed with flying colors, never been arrested, never been in jail, and I hope to stay like that. So anyway, we picked up the 10 millimeter, and uh, this coming weekend, I'll, I'll probably uh, take that out and, and shoot it. I'll get cleaned up first and uh, shoot it. But the thing is, is, is when you're hiking at dark or you're taking meat out, uh, the last thing you want is Mr. Grizzly Bear smelling a hamburger on your back and attacking you. And so uh, this will be either on my side. I did get a holster to be on my side or up here in, in front. And so it's accessible. Uh, so uh, just protection, some extra safety, plus protection around the house. But this is one of my buckets lists uh, to go elk hunting. I tell you what, I'm pumped. And uh, we're gonna keep posting stuff and watch me all the way out. I'll keep posting stuff as I keep getting stuff uh, that I'm gonna be uh, taking out there for my elk hunt. Uh, the other thing is what I did do is I bought a uh, suppressor, a silencer for my 300 rum. Uh, I bought that, the rum, uh, in three, uh, 2007, used it out west uh, on a few hunts for whitetail. I, I bought it so in case I ever did a moose hunt, or uh, an elk hunt, I had enough gun. So I, I've used it for several years and I just decided to get that uh, silencer on it. And the reason being uh, silencer sensor, silencer central out of uh, South Dakota, 
uh, say that it'll take about 45% of the recoil out of that gun, so it makes it more manageable to shoot. I don't know if you've shot a 300 Ultra Mag, but it rocks your world. You gotta make sure it's locked into your shoulder. So anyway, we're going. Here's one thing we had last night. Let me show you this. We had a visitor last night. Now it wasn't a grizzly bear, but we had a black bear come through and this bird feeder is 20 feet from the house and he come over here and we had some uh, feeders on this bird feeders and he ripped this one off uh, bent it down which this one over here was was here and he bent the heck out of the top I straightened it and he ripped the top off ate all the sunflower seeds we had another one uh, hanging here and he ripped it off and that was a finch feeder and he uh, destroyed that that thing uh, teeth marks all over in it but that's just a black bear and a grizzly bear like we're gonna in, uh, encounter well no we're not gonna encounter them out in montana but we're gonna be ready for them just in case because i don't want to be uh, grizzly bears lunch so anyway um we had the black bear here last night the neighbors well the reason we knew it was because this morning we brenda looked across the road and she says hey mark's uh garbage is tore into uh i wonder if the bear was through so that's when we checked here uh sent text messages to the neighbors even the neighbors a half mile away and yep uh same thing so the black bear made his rounds last night so he's out and about i don't know if it's a he or a she but um, I was looking for tracks, but it's kind of grassy here, so I couldn't see any tracks from him. But anyway, like I said, super pumped. Uh, you guys just stay tuned to the channel. Keep watching. Uh, go to Forlo. Go to Central Boiler Outdoor Wood Stoves. Check if you need some of that. I'm going to do some more videos on Central Boiler. Franks, you want to uh, contact Franks. They're in Morley, Michigan, like I said. Uh, north of Grand Rapids, about 40 minutes or so. Uh, probably not even that far, but uh, great, great place, small place. Uh, uh, Vic was very helpful, showed me the gun, uh, pointed everything out. I wanted to know how to break that gun down. He showed me all that. Then I YouTube some stuff to get some more information be, uh, once I got home. So anyway, Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to our channel. Thank you so much for watching our channel. We appreciate it. So anyway, any comments or concerns, leave it and we'll, we'll answer you back. Have a wonderful day, a blessed day, and God bless you.